Hello guys, this is Parallel and we are taking a look at 9 more lives. Uh, let me check. Uh, the Steam. The Steam store page. It's another demo, like I got you used to by now. Stretch your legs, clean your whiskers, and dive into nine noir lives. Enjoy a point and leak <laughs> comedy noir adventure full of humor, crazy characters, and intriguing, intriguing locations. Solve challenging puzzles and answer the immortal question. How many things need to be leaked to solve a murder in this town? <laughs> All right, let's see. 15 20 minutes maybe more if i get really into it all right do you want to play through the tutorial sure let's use the tutorial if you ever get stuck remember we have story mode under options hit input and the hotspot icon happy gaming meow Na 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 Hi sir! Hello! Hey, uh, what's going on? Was I asleep? You're still catnapping sir! This is a dream! Uh, quite a lazy one, apparently! Are we really just in a void? Why not at a party? Or on a beach? Ooh. I didn't exactly plan to have any dream visitors, Tabby. Why are you even... Oh, is this because of the cheese I ate earlier? I, I, I knew the mozzarella was a bad idea. It's my cheat day. Very likely, sir. And now, who knows what crazy things your brain might dredge up in here. For example, remember the end of last year? Uh, which part? Don't be coy. You know what I'm talking about. It's your dream after all. Oh, with the... Uh, oh, the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The special item I got to help you with your little problem? <laughs> Does that still bother you? Perhaps you'd like to revisit it? What? Oh, no, Tabby, come on. I thought you were joking. It's not that big of a deal, really. It's barely a problem. It's more of a charming quirk. Well, your, um, charming quirk made half the kids cry at last year's law enforcement holiday party uh, when you accidentally shredded their gifts. Gift-induced clawing isn't something to be worried about, sir. We can fix it. So you're going through with this, all right, Santa Claus? All right, let's start with the easy stuff. Picking up an item without ripping the wrapping paper to shreds. Finally one with a voiceover. I looked up over a couple of uh, games today, which I won't post. So this is actually cool. Right click to use the interact action and click on the present. That looks so pretty and neatly wrapped. Sure would be a shame if someone were to rip it apart with his claws <laughs> okay right click pick there see not so much as a scratch on it i'm very happy to see that or should i say not see that <laughs> where did you put it it's right oh ah uh, my I just pockets had it. you really have to pay attention sir you put it into your briefcase without thinking. Look in there. Oh, right, my briefcase. I always forget I have that on me. It's like it's not even there sometimes. So, let's move on to step two. Unwrapping the present for the little tykes without tearing the ribbons apart like you're at Porky Pete's Ribapalooza Festathon. <sighs> it's the tutorial. Okay, items have become walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, gently. <laughs> oh, there's a broken toy in here. 
What a lucky child that would have been. Great work, sir. Now, try to combine the pieces of the toy without hurling one of them into a nearby parent's eye. Broken toy part two. All right. I can probably combine this with the other piece. I'm sure. I can probably combine this with the other piece. Oh, right click. Let's lick it. Ah, no. Wet marks <laughs> all over the toy now. Maybe if I lick in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> nope. That nope. It that made it worse. <laughs> I we will stay a half an hour on this one. Lick, lick. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, a broken piece of a toy. Use. I can probably combine this with the other piece. Okay. And use. I can probably combine this with the other piece. Okay, I don't know how to click, but I did. I did what I said. Click one and click two. We have to click the first one. Let's see. I can probably use. combine this with the other piece. And use. I can probably combine this with the other piece. Mm -hmm. What am I not doing right, guys? I'm failing at the first. Oh, they say use. I have to be with the mouse. Okay. I thought we have to get... All right. My bad. Ah, thought you have to that, use the pulse. You tiny piece of helpless inanimate plastic. <laughs> yes, that's the last time he'll uh, lie it. there doing nothing. So, uh, time for the final test: handing the completed item to the child without eating it. <laughs> Hand me the toy, sir. I mean, that one's definitely not on me. Uh, there's no reason to make cake-shaped toys that look realistic and delicious. Yeah. Impressive! Your detective skills are honed to a T, sir. You're all set for your next case. Well, thanks, Tabs. I, I feel like I might need a nap now, though. <gasps> a nap inside <laughs> your nap. Why not? A <laughs> double layer nap sounds <sighs> lovely. Man, this guy reminds me of the voice actor from Anthem, from the main. Uh character a bit I wonder is that a fire cannon dun, dun, dun. indoors oh that really isn't safe is someone there hello am I yelling loudly enough for you oh, <laughs> much better thank you I just ow oh what the I think I just walked into a wall of spikes. Hey, uh, can we get the lights on in here? Look, it's yeah, it's cute, but it's fun. Thanks for this, but you know, it's time for the, some lights. <laughs> Much better, thank you. Oh, hey, it wall of spikes. <laughs> Who's the crazy-looking masked guy? Tiki mask wearing weirdo. Okay, <laughs> when I like this game already. Hello, Spikey. As a name. No. Ooh, let's drink something. We cannot. Okay, let's do it in proper order. Okay, let's talk to the Tiki mask wearing weirdo. It's a Tiki mask who's wearing a weirdo. I'm gonna need to lick your face. <laughs> sure thing. Seriously? Go for it. Lick away. Treat yourself. 
<laughs> this is a trap. You're trying to trick me. Nobody ever says yes. What's your <laughs> angle, huh? Hidden cameras? Are you trying to expose me? I don't, I don't care. Licking isn't a crime. I checked. I don't care. I've got a mask. Oh, that tasted horrible. Are you saying the taste of my mask isn't good enough for Mr. Fancy over here? Face of intellectual copyright infringement. Rude. <laughs> what? It's no copyright infringement, land. Hello there. Are you the owner? Who's asking? Oh, my name is Cuddles Nutterbutter. I'm here to serve you. Nutterbutter. <laughs> Don't need no Lou waiters. Thanks. Uh, serve you papers? I mean, I'm a private investigator. <laughs> what sort of PI work is delivering papers? Shouldn't you be out investigating? Be out investigating? Yes, well, <laughs> bit of a dry stretch right now, if I'm honest, and this pays the bills. Happens more than you'd think. Well, <laughs> show me a badge then. Of course, it's right. Oh, uh, where did. Uh, actually, actually, you know what? I forgot. Badges are being discontinued. So. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Ms. Ms. None of your business. <laughs> Miss Business, then. I, I have a few <laughs> questions for you. It's good. <laughs> What's with all the fire? There's a whole lot of fire around here. Seems pretty unsafe. Especially given you sell quite a lot of alcohol. Oh, you gotta have fire. It's for the ambiance. The ambiance of catching on fire. Customers know the risks. We make it clear when you enter. No, you don't. It's pitch black. There's a whole lot of very loud, unnecessarily dramatic music, and fire keeps exploding everywhere, and one wrong step, and your customers will be a cat kebab. See? You know the risks. Proves my points. You have a sign outside your bar. It says, we're the voodoo place that don't serve no cursed margaritas. <sighs> Care to explain? Means we don't got no cursed margaritas? Firstly, that hasn't cleared anything up. Secondly, it's slander. It's true. No cursed drinks in here. That's our guarantee. The voodoo, the, the guitar guarantee, yeah. You obviously just made that up. M more to the point, there are no cursed drinks in my client's bar either. It, what even is a cursed margarita? Uh, instead of lime juice, it's got the souls of the damned. Ms. Business, my clients do not add condemned souls to their drinks, as I think you well know. Yeah, but like, how can we be sure? They don't have a sign. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That doesn't even. Well, I don't see any guitars in here, so your your whole name is a lie. You clearly ripped off my client's entire concept and just picked a word that rhymes with bar. Guitars a state of mind, though, isn't it? Uh, the voodoo guitar is totally different from all other voodoo-themed outlets. Yeah, if you ignore all the bits that are identical. Uh huh. Uh, is this, this establishment is named the Voodoo Guitar. Is that right? Maybe. What's it do? I represent the owners of the Voodoo Bar. Yeah, I'm sure you're familiar. The Voodoo-themed bar directly across the street from you. They feel, and I agree, that you, you copied not only their concept, but, well, everything, basically. Oh, yeah? They gotta prove it, then. Don't they? Ah, oh, I see you are Don't a cat they. of some legal knowledge. <laughs> Past experiences, is my guess? Yeah, thing is, from what I've seen of this establishment, it, it won't be difficult to prove. Do you really want this to go to court? You ain't got nothing on me! Well, we'll see. Every single thing I can see in here is a direct copy of the interior of my client's bar. Except for your obsession with fire. How do you explain that? They must have come in and taken pictures when I wasn't looking. Oh, those jerks. Just full of answers, aren't you? And, and, and what about us? 
I'm just about done copying the voodoo boss menu. <laughs> there, there, there. Right, someone just said they're duplicating my client's menu. Uh, no, it's uh, rats. It's rats in the walls. Right, rats. Right, rats. Yeah. No. Uh, I mean, <laughs> squeak. Uh, it's <laughs> it's a bit childish, but it's fun, uh, anyways. Feels weird talking to that mask. Can you take it off, please? We are falling in love, man. That, our clients expect it. It calms them. If you're attracting the sort of clientele for whom that mask is calming, I need to work on your marketing. Listen, this is a tough city, okay? There's cats out there working hard to put food on the table, and they come here to relax. And the mask helps. When they leave, I hear them breathe sighs of relief. They're probably because just they glad left. they got through another visit here <laughs> without being set on fire. Hardly anyone has been set on fire at the Voodoo Guitar this month. We got a certificate. No accidents, right? 30 days without any accidents. <laughs> I have a cease and desist from the Voodoo Bar. If you don't comply, my clients will see you in court where, inter alia, you will have to sit in some very uncomfortable chairs in a room with too little air conditioning. It is not a party. Big words don't impress me. Show me the papers. Oh, fine, I will. Take the papers. Now you take the papers. <laughs> you can't handle the take papers. Take the papers. Now you take the papers. <laughs> okay. What else can we do on that time? I do. Think. Don't go anywhere. Let's lick the umbrella. It doesn't want to lick it. <laughs> uh, yes. It's not good for anything. Let's drink that. Uh, let's take that. Lick the bar. <laughs> Where the magic happens, or lack thereof. thereof. Lick the bar. No time to sit and have a drink. Need to get this cease and desist delivered. Uh, like the bar. Sit there. They, they, they sit <laughs> there with their booties, with their. And I said the butts. bar, not the stool. Lick the glass. You wanna lick the glass? <laughs> no, it doesn't seem to be use. No. Yeah, I can't tell which things might be. Okay, let's think. What can we do? I mean, they obvious, obviously just copied what the voodoo bar did, but why aren't these holding tiny guitars? <laughs> it it would have been perfect. Did you hear that? Look at. Look at. Spiky. Spiky, huh? Holding down the fort against any potential invasion of balloon people. <laughs> Good cat, cuz. Good cat, cuz. <laughs> Good cat, cuz. I didn't realize. <laughs> cat, cuz. <laughs> Stumbling around a strange bar with a huge cat kiss in my arms sounds oh so fun, but <laughs> another time. Man, this is number one on the demos that I tried these days. Uh, lick the door, please lick the cactus, please. It is literally covered in spines and the client didn't okay. cough up for medical on this case. Let's see, can we move? No. Wonder where that goes. Let's walk. Oh, anyone back here? No. 
Hello, anyone back here? No. Okay, something else needs to happen. What? What? Doesn't let me go. Oh. Okay, what else could we do? Oh, look at the pictures. The most generic pictures imaginable of tropical locales. <clears throat> they, are, they aren't even hung up straight. <laughs> Literally zero effort. Does it bug you? <laughs> that they are crooked? <laughs> I the definitely picture. can't lick them straight. Or can I? Try it. <laughs> Whoever thought about the leaking this, I don't know. About the leaking mechanic. Man, <laughs> uh, well, I don't see any interactables. So what can we do to solve this? <laughs> leak the system. Man, you have to leak everything. The official cease and desist letter from Town Hall. Honestly, I can barely even read the lettering, but not my problem. Uh, they coat these in wax now. No more fun flavors. <laughs> uh, let's use it. Let's use it. So. Leak. Here are the papers. I trust this settles the matter. Have your name changed within the week or we'll see you in court. Well, <laughs> not me. I don't go to court, but someone will. And I bet they'll be mean. What if I say I won't accept the papers? That's not up to you here. No, <laughs> no. Take the papers. Now you take the papers! Hey, ya boss! Do you have the Voodoo Boss branding book? I can't recall if they use the bookshop beige or bicycle yellow. Expedition khaki, I think. Roger that. I mean, rat sounds. I'm right here. Me. I'm right here, the investigator. This is the law. I know I don't have a badge, but you can't right in front of me. Guys. Where do we place that? Let's put it in the tiki mask, man. I bet you never have to give out cease and desist. You just sit there trying to be scary. We have to put it somewhere in the glass. Hey, can you take this cease and desist from me? <laughs> no, uh, no, the boss will be mad. I mean, squeak. And this guy is named so he can take the cease from all right fine i uh, you, you want to be difficult <laughs> i'll give the papers to another exactly. employee like this fine fella right here he seems reasonable that ain't an employee that's a cat kiss he's got a name tag exactly. though. that'll hold up in court hello there spiky you've been served have fun tiki weirdo i have to come <laughs> back here to serve more papers to the voodoo mandolin or the voodoo sitar or any other sort of mystical instrument you'll wish you only had fake rats to worry about <laughs> squeak okay guys i'll definitely oh. buy this game welcome back sir how did it go Oh, fine, fine, you know, served them the papers, argued about who copied whom, walked into a huge cat kiss, you know, the usual. <laughs> cat kiss. I <course>. did, <laughs> though, almost get uh, fried by a fire cannon at some point, so that was exciting. <gasps> a fire cannon? Indoors? That's very, very unsafe. unsafe. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Not that they cared, but anyway, it's done. Another citizen in need, helped by Nutter Butter Investigations. Inform the Ooh, media. Yeah. Open the champagne. champagne. <laughs> well, I really hope something bigger comes along soon, Tabby. You know, I'm being wasted on these tadpole cases. I tell you, there's a full-sized toad of a case out there somewhere with my name on it. <laughs> I'm sure of it. 
<laughs> what toad named Cuddles? <laughs> well, <laughs> Not until that, that, that hops along, I have a surprise that should cheer you up. Surprises? I love those. Tabby, may, have I ever told you that your timing is perfect? I could really use a pick-me-up right now. I thought you might. <laughs> uh, it's waiting in your office. Go on in and I'll be there shortly. I'm just expecting a delivery. You're the best, Tabster. I know, sir. Tabster, let's look around. We already are at uh, 20 minutes, my guys. Let's uh, get the case, but first let's explore a bit. Uh, no? No, it's not named, so... Tabby's desk is so much neater than mine. How does she do it? What a secret. <laughs> There's not much I can do here. Uh, yes. <laughs> it might send the wrong message if I start licking employees' desks. <laughs> you want. Everyone will want it. I'm not sure the risk of that is as high as you think, sir. Yeah, I'll definitely buy it. It's set for release sometimes in this half of year. In the first half of the year. We'll see. It's actually cool. Tabby is my assistant. She's the only reason I'm still in business. What a nice thing <laughs> to say without directly addressing me, sir. <laughs> Let's lick Tabby. Can I, I lick, can't lick the staff? It's in their contracts. Okay, it's harassment. <laughs> if it wasn't for Tabby, I'd be a street cat. Are you okay. talking to yourself again, sir? All right, what else? What's this? Invoice. There's some writing on this. That's some really high grade writing paper. I would have just used a napkin. <laughs> oh, but what if I <laughs> then needed that napkin? <laughs> well played, Professor. So we don't know. To whom it may concern, I am currently out of the country on a research trip. If you need to contact me, please contact the Dean of the Department of Biology at Florentine University or phone me at this number. Mouse shell bell bunny bathtub. <laughs> Mouse shell bunny What? <laughs> they have symbols. Uh, no, we have to go into the office. Okay, I don't see anything interactive. Oh, look at the, the trash. Lick the trash, please. Please lick the trash. No. Steal those pretzels. No. Let's go. <laughs> Where are you hiding, sneaky little surprise? Cuddles is gonna find ya. Ooh, he's gonna find ya. Yes, he is. I wonder where it's that surprise guys what's with that is that a bra i don't think it's a it's a ball it's not a it's not interactable a collection of tomes volumes and encyclopedias that i've built up over many years such fascinating things to be learned here only if someone would learn them <laughs> probably Oh, really? Let's see. It's they look beautiful just where they are, I'd say. No need to move <laughs> them. Just a tickle of pollen on the tongue. <laughs> I have to lick everything now. <laughs> I mean, I have to make it lick everything. <laughs> they really missed an opportunity by not making yeah, this a flavor Yeah, that's book. what lick I was the thinking. Page for a sample of the recipe, it would be amazing. You know, there are those perfume samples. <laughs> they could do the same with the food. How appropriate. A book about silence that tastes of nothing. <laughs> it manages to taste drier than the words inside. <laughs> lick, I hear you. The pages make a lot of noise when you lick them. So far, so accurate. The orange bits feel like faux fur. 
This is a classic. I can't lick a classic. <laughs> Yarn breaker, <laughs> life taker. <laughs> lick, don't think, just drink. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a tiger. The title, don't think, just drink, getting drunk on the budget. Okay, now let's. Don't think, just drink, getting <laughs> drunk on a budget. Oh, it's just reciting the... Nine Noir Pies. Easy recipes for the busy entrepreneur. Standing in one spot in total <laughs> silence for hours. I do have cats. I have two tomcats in my house. One older, one younger. And uh, yeah. Eustace and the sea. Ooh, 25 minutes. Let's just well, Tabby look likes to a bring a little more. color into the office. <laughs> I hear you. An audio primer for curious cats. What's this? Tri tiger strike. Tiger strike. Discover the big cat inside your little cat. <laughs> Yarn breaker. Life taker. A max full power <laughs> novel. Yes. Self help book. <laughs> Okay, let's get out. How do we leave? Oh. Alright. What else do we have over here? Telephone. Uh, okay, let's open the present. Look at the couch first. Hmm. <laughs> let's, let's open the present and... No, let's use the couch. I bet if I was like 300 times stronger, I could lift this entire thing. I don't think any gym in the whole world could achieve that, though. I didn't mean to lift it, man, when I said use the couch. <laughs> I love napping on that thing, but I, I, I always have the weirdest dreams. So poofy. I want to cuddle it. <laughs> hey, my detective badge is under this cushion. Oh, really? Now you know we have to check everything. All right. Let's see. I will not lick anything. <laughs> And I yeah. really enjoy listening to the radio after a long day. My favorite show is Perfect Tunes. Oh, they have I more really plans. enjoy listening to the radio after a long day. <laughs> uh, what else do we have there? Paintings. What's that? Okay, so, oh, we have two bookcases. Let's let's look around. I like books. They don't argue. They don't <laughs> lie. And they don't hiss and claw at you when you ask questions. Plus, they look nice. <laughs> okay, so only the research book we can uh, use. Answer the telephone. Ah, the most indispensable element of the detective's toolkit. What could ever replace the trusty desk-bound telephone? Yeah, it's not ringing right now. Maybe <laughs> better. Perhaps even a call from meow, the meow, meow, meow Burrington Private Investigators Guild. Ah, just lick it a oh, bit. You know you want it. Fingerprints on there to lift. <laughs> I really don't, though, because now they're ruined. <laughs> I'm having fun. Let's open the present. Let's look at the present. Why it do looks you... so pretty and neatly wrapped. Sure would be a shame if someone were to rip it apart with his claws. Let's try to be gentle this time. A 
brand new diary recorder as seen on TV with up to 12 hours of recording time, two playback speeds, and a waterproof casing. <laughs> oh, let's try this out. Dear diary recorder, hi there, I'm Cuddles, your new best friend. Not the first breaker. things first, I can't just call you diary recorder, you need a proper name, or people will think I'm really weird for talking to you all the time. <laughs> Uh, I used to know of a good listener named Ramon. Yeah, Ramon. On television too, like you. So, Ramon, my assistant <laughs> Tabby has gifted you to me. I'm pretty sure I know why. She suggested the other day that I need to keep better records of my cases. Well, she actually said that real detectives don't just slap sticky notes on everything to remember critical details. I'm not sure I agree. I actually think the sticky yellow notes on everything system was a huge success. But yeah. she went to the effort of buying you for me, so I think we can compromise. I'll record myself with you from now on, and hopefully she'll stop bringing up the time she accidentally ate a sticky note that I put on her sandwich. <laughs> so, <clears throat> guess I'll make this into a record for anyone researching my biography when I'm world famous. <sighs> Cuddles Nutter Butter P.I. is speaking. The... The Cuddlenator. <laughs> Nutter Butter Investigations. If you want it solved, you know who to... Involved. 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 Cuddles! Sir? Professor Huggy's delivery is here. Huggy. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be out in a second. Just um, grab it for me, would ya? That's Tabby now. Kind of new, but determined to make a difference. We get along well. Oh, gosh. Uh, sir? It's a life. Uh, this is a lot more seedlings than I was expecting. The professor said it was only one or two. I think she meant to say one or two hundred. <laughs> yeah, she sure loves her plants. Any cat can solve crimes, but try finding someone who can do filing, answer the phones, and remember how you like your coffee. <laughs> All right, sir, I've piled them up for now, but we really need to... Is there another exit? Yes, sir, the pile fell over and went into the fan duct. It's blowing all over. There's just dirt and little baby plants everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, that, that'll happen to the best of us, Tabby. I often ask her for advice with cases. She might not be a detective, but she's got instincts, sharp as her claws. Teeny bit uncoordinated, though. You, 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 a uh, seedling went right in my ear! Ah, it's gonna grow inside my brain! <laughs> <laughs> so much dirt! You, uh, doing all right in there, champ? I'm on top of it, sir. Just give me a uh, second Relax, to clean up. you won't need any... Food. You'll need only sunlight. <laughs> All done. After. All done. Enjoying your new diary recorder, sir? I love it. Thanks, Tabster. My pleasure, sir. Office lunches are safe once more. <sighs> oh, whiskers. There goes the phone. Okay, let's answer it. Yeah, that's Hello? Good. Oh, it wasn't oh, mine. Good evening, Chief. Yes, he just fit it. Oh, um. Yes, of course. Please hold. Ring, ring. Let's lick it first. Okay. Ah, the most indispensable element uh, of uh. the detective's toolkit. Sir, I've got the chief of police on the line. He says it's urgent. Oh, he always says that. It was even urgent when they needed an extra person for the interdepartmental volleyball game last week. Sand in so many places. Ask him to phone back tomorrow, Tabby. Yes, sir, but you were just saying you wanted bigger cases, right? I think this one might be pretty big. He, uh, he said cucumber. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Language, Tabby. <sighs> Whiskers. I I've never heard him curse before. Something must be up. All right. I guess I'd better take this. Patching him through, sir. <coughs> Not about her. Hello. Evening, Chief. How's things at Police HQ tonight? Bad, in fact. We've got a real cucumber of a situation on our hands. That's some pretty strong language, Chief. How can I help? I 
just got word of a situation downtown. There's been some sort of disturbance at the Nitty Kitty Club. Not clear yet what happened exactly. I need you to get down there and investigate. That name rings a bell. Isn't it owned by a mob boss or something? Not a mob boss. The mob boss. Bartholomew Montemu, arguably the most powerful criminal in the city. It's, uh, it's his sleazy castle, and we suspect. The place where his piles of dirty money get cleaned. Ooh, sleazy money. My favorite. If I find any of those piles, can I keep them? Always a comedian, not a butter. You should be more worried about leaving with both legs unbroken. Oh. Any additional details on what actually happened? Well, my guys caught wind of something over the tap phone, but it's unclear. Whatever it was, it's got Montemu in a tiz. I got a call right after saying Bartholomew was booked to fly at home from a holiday trip overseas. We've got a very small window of time before he lands and probably kicks us all out. My guys have bullied their way in for now. Where you come in, Nutter Butter. I told my officers to play it very cool. I do not want to kick off a war with the Montemus. You're a neutral party. You can go places and ask questions we can. Got it? Yes, sir. If it's such a tense situation, why get involved at all? If someone's making trouble for mobsters, I say let them at it. Nutter Butter. Don't make me regret calling you second about this. Second? Who do you call first? Wait, was it that hack Alfonso? You mm. know he lost his own car keys for nine months once, right? Oh, he couldn't solve a case if the perp was tied to his collar. Pay attention, Nutter Butter. I called you because your success rate is actually pretty good. And I will deny that if asked by anyone else. Here, and uh, because Alfonso is out of the country. <laughs> I knew it. Focus. Whatever's going down at the Nitty Kitty, chances are it involves a rival mob. If we're really unlucky, it's the Catulets. Catulets and Montagues. <laughs> the Catulets and They'll help as much as they can, but you're mostly on your own. The repercussions of the police picking a side in what might be the opening salvo of a mob war. Well, I'd rather not think about it. It probably involves declawing machines and barrels of acid. If it comes to that, I'd rather it be you than one of my guys. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> oh, Chief, that's so... Uh, well, actually, that's pretty awful. Did you, uh, did you say declawing machine well, I'll fax over the documents I need you on this nutter butter don't let me down yeah 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 so I, I mean how many paws are we talking about here like how many paws are they going through to need a machine to do they keep them is is there a room somewhere just filled with claws good night cuddles good night <laughs> yeah. good night geez. is this a Romeo and Juliet story Probably, yeah. Well, we've got ourselves a big one, Tabby. Safety of the city, lives in the balance sort of thing. Cancel my appointments and get yourself plenty of coffee. I have a feeling it's going to be a busy night. I'm going to head straight to the Decline Club to see what we've got. <laughs> decline Club. <laughs> the what? <laughs> Did I say Decline Club? <laughs> That's certainly not preying on my mind or anything. I meant the Nitty Kitty Club. Well, we don't take midnight appointments, so nothing to cancel there. And I'm already ahead of you with the coffee. But did you say the Nitty Kitty Club? Where all the criminals hang out? Nitty Kitty. Oh, all of them, Tabby. I'm sure some hang out in, uh, <laughs> in other dark places. alleyways and large empty warehouses down at the docks and such. It doesn't matter. This is really going to put me, er, us, <laughs> on the map. We'll be big time in no time. Well, yes, that's very exciting, sir. But those mobsters, from what I've read in the news, 
They're real mean. Keep an eye on your back out there, all right? I don't want to see your face on the television tomorrow under the title Missing, Presumed, Chopped Up and Thrown into the River. You'd better be standing right here. The concrete boots. Don't worry, Tabs. I'll be sure to come back in one piece. We both know this place wouldn't be the same without. Which piece would be that? <laughs> True, but that's not quite what I meant. You've forgotten to pay me this week. Again. Oh, again. But I just realized you don't need all your limbs to sign a check. Ask the nice scary mobsters to go for the legs first, will ya? Ah, oh, whiskers. I'm, I'm really sorry, Tabster. I promise this is the last time. Uh, my new buddy here, uh, Ramon, <laughs> he's gonna make sure I don't forget things anymore. Say hi, Ramon. Hi, Ramon. <laughs> 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 oh, you named the recorder. <laughs> well, <sighs> as long as it works. the nerve center of the operation. What would I do without it? Well, work on the floor, I guess. If it wasn't for Tabby, I'd be as... Are you talking to yourself? Hey, so I found my badge. Somehow it had ended up under a cushion. No idea how it got there. Well, I'm no expert investigator like you, but I'm gonna hazard it was during that cat nap you took yesterday. That was... I was... Uh, I was investigating. You snore a lot when you investigate then. But congrats all the same. You were a big cat and you found it all by yourself. All right, I get it. I'll be more careful where I put things. But now I have an important case to solve. The fate of the city is in my paws. Lives might be on the line. I don't suppose you know where I left my car keys? Mm-hmm, second pocket on your left. You're the best, Tabby. See you later. Hey, Tabs, let's have the real chat. How you doing? You know, talk to me. Are you doing well, Tabby? Thank you, sir. So kind of you to ask. I am. How's the case coming along? Oh, investigations are ongoing. <laughs> That's what the cops would say, right? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Tabby. Ah, I love the taste of a hot cup of coffee. Is that drop of coffee trying to escape? Not on my watch. So somebody's drilling holes in the building close to me. Man, these guys are insane. I don't know what's wrong with them. Just to get bored and to find something to drill. And they make such long breaks between uh, the work. Uh, can't I take it? I don't need it. An umbrella is better than no umbrella, I guess. But when it's windy out, it's, it's such a fight to open them. And it's windy a lot in this city. So we're not taking the umbrella. Uh... Hargis. 
Let's read this again. To Just whom it may concern, I am currently out of the country on a research trip. Yeah, I'll just have to come back over number, here. Mouse, shell, bell, bunny, bathtub. Yeah, let's use the elevator. Office. And this looks cool. Looks cool. Should we go to the club or should we keep some mystery, man? Let's keep some mystery. Let's stop over here. This is a fine looking city. You know, right? Man, I had so much fun with this demo. And I will probably for sure buy this game. Yeah, I'll keep it on my wish list. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.